welcome back to another installation video. Today we are going to install maps. So obviously a lot of my custom maps that I've made myself are available for download and those videos have been available for a couple weeks now and a few of you have asked how you install them. So you open up your Minecraft and you will find a folder called saves. So you want to open that up and it has all the maps that you have ever made or unless you've deleted them then they won't be there so the ones some of the custom maps I have would be the horse crazy ranch um, simply horses ranch desert oasis castle and village as well as a horse crazy stables that I made so those are all the custom maps you can download from me at this time and the survival LP map is also available so you want to go to where you have saved any of the maps. It doesn't necessarily have to be mine, but any kind of map that you download off the internet. You go to where you have that saved. So I'm going to go there, and I'm going to scroll down here to where I have my builds file. So when you download them, they will come to you as a as a zip folder. You want to extract that. So click on any one. I'm going to use my horse crazy stables because that's the most recent one. So you want to extract it into a folder. And you can see it puts a folder in a folder. And then you have all your files inside the second folder. If you take this folder, the folder in a folder, if you take that and put it in your save file, it will not read that you have it installed. So you actually have to open that up and take the folder that has all the files in it. So you want to take the second folder you can either copy or cut, but I suggest copying because that leaves a backup of the map saved somewhere else. And then you simply paste it in your save file, like so. And then you can open up your Minecraft once you have that installed to double check that it's going to work. Log in. And once it does all its thing, which might take a couple seconds. Do, 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 do. Come on. There we go. So it opened up our config folder. So we can close that. And then you open up your single player. And if it installed correctly, you will find it at somewhere in your list. Huh. It is not here. Where's Crazy Stables? It should be there. I'm just going to remove a few of these, uh, these maps here. All the files are there. So it should have loaded correctly. Try that again. You will find sometimes this kind of thing happens. So you just have to try reinstalling it again until it shows up in your save folder on your actual Minecraft. Just because it's in your save folder in the folder doesn't mean it's going to be in the actual game. So config file opens. And there we are. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Horse Crazy MC Stable. It comes up as Greenland Stables Biomes for some reason, but it says Horse Crazy Stables right there. So that's actually the one I want. So then you can click Play Selected World and it will open it up for you. Some people end up spawning in a different area. Like it actually might happen to me even though it's my map. That sometimes people spawn in an area that's not actually intended. So I got lucky here. I opened... I'm in an area that I was supposed to be. However, some people end up spawning God knows where. 
And if that's the case, you can either try and use the coordinates. You can message me for the coordinates. And I can try and send them. So right now, to be above this particular jump, you want to be at negative 159.49 plus 73 plus 818961, or dot 61, sorry. If you do not, if you use the coordinates and you don't actually appear at the stables, then you have to uninstall the map and reinstall. Sometimes it's kind of glitchy like that when you install somebody else's custom map. I've had that happen a few times with my own maps, and personally I think it's absolutely ridiculous. When a spawn point says spawn here, <laughs> you should spawn there. So the spawn for this map is actually right here. So you should actually spawn right here. If you do not, then try reinstalling the map again. So that is how you install a map on Minecraft, and I will catch you guys next week.